Very important message for you guys today. Tips on how to become a pro gamer. A lot of you guys are AMs, and a lot of you want to become a pro. But you don't have the answers, at least the truthful answers. I'm gonna give you the quick answers on how to become a pro. Step one, when playing Call of Duty, you should never go for the objective. Objective is for the birds. Never be seen near a flag. Never be seen near an uplink. Never be seen playing for spawns. Never be seen throwing tactical. Never be seen baiting. And definitely never be seen in the hard point. If you do any of these things, you'll never become a pro. Doing those things is almost counterproductive to becoming a pro. You want to get as many kills as possible. If ever seen doing these things, it will put a serious dent in your route to becoming a pro gamer. Step two, never use any equipment or anything that is gonna benefit the team. Use every single perk that you can use that's gonna keep you alive. You wanna get as many kills as possible so you're on top of the leaderboard at the end of the game. So make sure you're using flak jacket, tack mask, trophy. Make sure you have every single thing on your class that's gonna ensure that you stay alive. Never use stuns. Stuns aren't gonna help you. They're only gonna help your teammates. Never use grenades. They're only gonna help your teammates. Use trophy, stay alive, and succeed. Step three, if and when you lose every single map in your first scrim against a pro team, make sure you tweet each and every one of those players that your teammates are trash and you're better than all of them. Let them know that you're pretty good and you deserve a chance. So you should have a follow-up tweet. Your very next tweet after that should be a general tweet to everybody that follows you about how bad you hate online and how bad your teammates are. You never lose because you made a bad play. You never make bad plays and it's never happened and it never will. So you blame everybody on your team for the mistakes that happen in game. You are never at fault. Your teammate did something wrong, he got 180'd, he got 360'd. Even if he got shot in the back, you're telling everybody who asked you why you lost that your teammate just can't get kills. You shall never take the blame because you are the best and there's no reason that you should ever be losing. If and when you lose an online match, you should be telling everybody that they were host or that you couldn't get kills on that connection. If you somehow have a bad game, your controller was broken, your hand was hurting you, your internet was acting up, you never play bad. Remember, there is never a legitimate reason for you to be playing bad. There is always an excuse. Remember, there is always an excuse. You need to dig deep and come up with one and let people know why you played bad. And it's never because you simply weren't doing the right things because you're always doing the right things. When you come to your first event, make sure you bring a camera because after every single map, you're gonna be taking a picture of the scoreboard. You're gonna be letting people know that you're going off against Ram Bob 2253 Every single match, every single search and destroy, you're pulling up your phone, you're taking a picture, and you're making sure COD Stats takes that down. And you're kill whoring so hard that you're gonna have the number one KD at the tournament. And after the tournament, you're gonna go on Twitter. And guess what? You're gonna post a Giazzo of that number one KD. And you're gonna post it every single day until somebody slides into your DMs. Now, if and when this inevitable DM comes in, you need to handle this like a pro. So when he says, hey man, would you like to run with us in a scrim or play some tournaments with us? You reply with, hell yeah, dude, you have been my favorite pro. Now, this is the only acceptable time to suck up, and this is what I call the honey dicking phase. The last and final tip, when you get your first shot in Money 8s, the first thing you should do is honey dick every single person in that call. You're gonna let every single one of them know that you are their best friend. This is the most vital information I'm gonna give you all night. Make sure you are best friends with every single pro or anybody above you. Make them know that you're there and that they can talk to you and that you're their best friend. Quick scenario, you made your way to the pro lounge. You're in there with a bunch of pros. Scumpy comes walking in. Hold the fanboy inside. Don't let it come out. Just look up and say, Seth, did you check out my match? Oh, no, dude. Damn, you should have checked it out. I was going off, man. Nah, we lost, dude. My teammates, though. My teammates. World starred. Yeah, man, you're the homie. Peace. Yeah, man, hit me up for online tournaments, anything. I'm always down. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, dude. Good luck, man. Huh, go out there, kid. Yeah. If you do these simple things, you will become a pro. I'm Nameless and I'm out here. <laughs>